When I made the first video about using LabVIEW for making presentations, I thought it would be fairly easy to make a fully customizable and user-friendly framework, but I didn't succeed. I will share the few tricks I learned though. This solution relies on having more than one separate VI open at the same time, and it is specific to Windows machines because it uses the .NET picture box control. The first thing I need is a singleton for saving a picture box reference. The big advantage with a picture box is that the contents can be resized with the widget, so you don't have to care about the resolution of the viewport. The VI with the picture box must run at all times, since it is only accessible through a reference. But that's not a problem, since I want to keep my presentation window running anyway. By using a singleton, I can access the picture box however I want. Creating my presentation window, I want one picture box for my presentation, set to fit the pane. While I'm here, I'll set the appearance in the VI properties to exclude some things. Now if I switch to run mode, I'm only going to have the canvas. And if I maximize the window, my picture box will cover the entire screen. With that out of the way, it's time to set the properties of the picture box. They can only be set at runtime, so I need to add some property nodes. The first one I'm going to add is the size mode property. To that I want to add the back color property, and then change both to right. Right clicking on the size mode connector, I want to create a constant and set it to zoom. This way images will be rescaled to fit the picture box, but keep proportions. The property list for the back color connector contains a whole range of named colors. I want to add a color object set to white. If you want to create your own color, you can find that in the method menu. After that, I want to save my reference to the singleton. Then I just want to make sure that my presentation window stays running. And I do that by adding an event structure that will wait for the panel close question mark event. Pressing play, my presentation window is ready to receive pictures. Here is one example. It gets the list of files from the Koch Anim 2 directory and first loads the files. Then the files are sent to the picture box in the presentation window in a timely manner. Resizing the presentation window is fast and automatic with decent results.